Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here, and what you are looking at is you are looking at two of the finest Bibles currently in print. You are looking at the Canterbury from Schuyler, which is a wonderful large print reading Bible, and the Allen 62 in the Long Primer series that is just a big Bible. And But it's big because it has um, room to write. And it's got the classic old Oxford boxes. I mean, they, and they're great boxes. You can tell they're solid. I can't get it out. All right. Three ribbon markers. Look at that. Calfskin leather. Now, calfskin leather, and so's the Schuyler Canterbury, and it's not the personal size Canterbury. Calfskin leather um, lasts just about as long as Moroccan leather. The only thing is, unless you pebble grain it like the Schuyler is pebble grained, that it cuts real easy. And what I mean by cuts, it gets scratches. And so it's not good for that. But just as far as longevity, it's great. So the Schuyler Canterbury comes with three ribbon markers as well. Uh, fascinatingly enough, they look like they're actually two different sizes, a long ribbon marker and two shorter ribbon markers. Whereas the Allen, long primer has three of the same size we'll let you see how they compare in thickness they're all going to have well i take that back the schuyler is going to have it's but they're both going to be printed by young blood in the netherlands it's printing some of the finest bibles in the world the schuyler canterbury is going to have raised book bands. This is not. I got both of these from evangelicalbibles.com. They're both, I think, going to have art gilt edging, which is red under gold. But you can see the Schuyler Canterbury is just a little smaller. So we're doing a little comparison here. Schuyler, spelled like Schuler has you know kind of this is like their logo little cross but just look at these book bands on here man i mean isn't that just gorgeous i can't wait to really get into reading this and uh look at the size of print there but the long primer is known for amazing print as well. It's 10 or 11 size print. I think both of these are. I used to think the, Can the Canterbury was a, uh, a paragraph Bible, but it's not. It's just kind of done that way. Then the references at the bottom, they have copious references at the bottom. It's really designed well. So, and it also has drop cap letterings. Yeah, it's definitely, they're both art gilt. You can see the red in this position. You can see the red. Now, the uh, Schuyler, Schuyler's just much bigger print. But, I'm not sure it's necessarily easier to read I mean because it's they just perfected black on white in the long primer black print white the, the page thing is great um, you know the lining the uh, spaces between the letters up and down just amazing um, whereas I've had struggles at times with my eyes adjusting the paper almost looks yellow to me in the Schuyler. There's been times when I read the Schuyler, maybe it has to do with the lighting, where I'm fine with it and times I'm not. Now, it's not red letter, but neither is the long primer. Now, what beautiful things. And I've done separate reviews on both these, so we won't go into some of the specificities. It does have the translator to the reader in it, which is great. And you can see the long primer is going to have 
obviously more room to write. It's not a wide margin, but it does have room to write on three sides. Whereas this is not going to have the uh, translators to the reader. It does have the epistle dedicatory. However, and it does have an amazing array of like, you know, the presented to session. I think we've about decided the media team, Brother Mallory and myself and Sister Francesca, we're going to give this to our Sunday school director. So I hope she doesn't watch this video before she receives it. I've still got a few more comparisons I'd like to do with it before I give it to her. But when the Lord tells me to do it, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. And so at the back, it's got tons, a huge concordance. Huge. And then a subject index besides the concordance. And then a dictionary of proper names. I love the helps of the long primer. Now, when I do comparisons, I'm looking to see if I see a long primer down here, of the old, just regular long primer. I mean, they have really just turned the, uh, the 62. Like, this is something close to a lot of long primer looks like. I mean, you can just see it's just so much more massive. To me, and this is a great semi yap by the way, it's, it's just too big to carry to church and stuff. It's huge. And uh, maybe it's the sit on the lap Bible kind of thing. Let's see what this has at the end. Now, of course, the center column reference in the long primer, bottom reference in the Schuyler Canterbury. I do want to show you that. Master stroke for space. Just incredible. For space. And it's going to have the archaic words king's english they call it but now their concordance is like really hard for me to read Let's see if i can find it here yeah and they're both going to just have some amazing maps look at those maps oh yeah Fall in love with the Bible. If you don't love it, pray that God will give you love for it. That is the will of God. People are willing to die. Oh, look at all this writing page. Now, they don't even... Here's the uh, classic Oxford map. But they do have... Uh, I'm going to say something else there like these lined pages to write in in the back too. If you go to evangelicalbible.com, they can give you all the specs on this. It's not going to be like church Bible publishers and local church where it's got the stitching on the outside and all that. Um, you know, to me, personally, um, at the end of the day, I think I probably like the Canterbury a little better even though there's a ton to like about the uh, Allen 62, a lot to like, it's just so big. And, uh, and even though it's really clear, dark print, the print is bigger in the Cambridge Canterbury. So combining the size of the print and the size of the Bible, even though I probably like the study helps better in the uh, back, in the Allen Long Primer. I do love the bottom references in the Canterbury. But they're both going to be fine Bibles. And uh, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And uh, we want everybody in the world to get Bibles. I, I wish somehow there could be an, an organized, concerted effort to uh, get Bibles to every person on earth. And uh, and countries that don't allow Bibles in maybe you know or certain peoples that we could have concerted prayer that the entrance of thy words giveth light and giveth understanding to the simple and uh, that everybody 
could have the fine word of God. You can't go wrong with either one of these. And uh, look, I just don't have the money to get these Moroccan leather ones. I'm sorry. I, I've always just been a calfskin guy because I got a calfskin budget. So God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.